Now, the sun is finally showing its face is and we it? are slowly <laughs> moving into spring. <laughs> well, it was last week. <laughs> and so is the fashion. With us today, we have Vicky Salmon, Hi. a fashion student at the Manchester Metropolitan University, who is going to speak to us about this season's trends and how we can create that perfect springtime look. She'll also be showing us some of the garments she's been busy making. So Vicky, what have you got to show us? Today, basically, I have just brought along a couple of the garments which are going into my graduate collection. Mm -hmm. It's all completely under development at the moment, um, but these are a couple of the more finalised ones. So I've got a much much more kind of basic shape, kind of A-line, stripy dress. Mm, yeah. Nice. Um, so this is kind of, yeah. Should this we hold it? Should we, should we show the camera? Go for it. So, so have you, you designed that, made that? Yeah, this is, all, this is all my design. The pattern cutting and everything is, wow. is completely mine as well. Oh, so it's just... Um, Why did you choose that shape and, and the colour? The colour, that's kind of been developed from my knitwear, really. Yeah. The kind of the stripes, it's, it all... Is that the kind of thing you go for then? Yeah, I mean, I'm mainly a knitwear designer. This yeah. has just kind of become something um, just to run alongside it, really, and to really complement it. Yeah. The stripes really bring it out as well. Um, so it's just a really nice basic shaped dress that we've got going on. Um, and that kind of sits under this. I'll pop that back. The I cut's very 60s, that. isn't it? Yeah. Like yeah, almost it very is. like shift dress like. Yeah. Mm. And no I love the pin I love it. the pinstripe as well. Um, yeah, it's really I mean, nice. Funnily enough, the sixties is very much coming back into yeah. into fashion this yeah. year, this spring and the summer. And so are the stripes. I mean they, they Did were you seen. know that? Did you know that was gonna happen? Um I or is kind this of it, you're a trendsetter. It's a little <laughs> bit of a coincidence that yeah. like, you're a trendsetter yeah. kind of thing going on. Um, but no, it, it's, it's all coming back. It's all, um, the stripes are very much last season as well. But I mean, the colours this, this year, they're a lot brighter, they're a lot, a lot bolder. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, that's kind of, that's actually fitted in really, really nicely into the spring, summer. Um, the other thing that I've brought along to show you is this sort of creation that we've got going. It's a bit hard to show when it's not on the stand or on someone. Yeah. Mm. Um, but this is kind of, it's a, it's a bit of a jumper, a bit of a cape, a bit of a... Um, One of us could put it on if amazing. you want. Yeah. 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 Who wants if, to be the model? Do you want in? Rachel? Uh, yeah. Go on, Rachel. Yeah. <laughs> Try it on. I did see you wearing it before. It, it did look that really, really... so cosy. Nice. Yeah. Stand up. Um, let's let's see what we can do. Basically, I know. Oh, yeah. It looks like really That's individual. Unhock. I've never seen so anything like that. So through there. I'll pop it over your head. Right, here we go. Here we go. Oh god! Will it fit? It will fit. <laughs> my um, my head's quite fat, so. <laughs> oh, it's, do you know what? I've got a massive head. I've been putting it on all, all the well, time. Oh my god! Wow. Yes. And then it basically just falls that over the so shoulder. That's so unique and amazing. It's like kind of it's like what you see on yeah, you know, yeah. London yeah. Fashion Week Thanks. and the catwalk. So, if you can talk us through this, yeah, that'd be uh, great. <laughs> this um, this has come about um, from some knit designs that I've been coming up with and some various techniques. I found this, um, is, it, is it called dreadlock wool, um, and it's really, really thick and chunky. It won't go through any sort mm. of knitting machine mm. that you find. So the only way that I had to kind of sort it out was to hand knit it. So in order so to you've do hand that, this? I have the oh, whole wow. thing is hand knitted. How long did that wow. take? Um, all in all, it it didn't take as long as I thought. It took about three days oh, um, really? from start God, to finish. That's impressive. Um, but why the colours? What? Why did you choose these colours? The colours they came came about kind of through. A lot of my other um, in inspiration, which is me, well, my own inspiration, yeah. which is different yeah. cultures yeah. Mm. Um, and different kind of te um, textures and patterns that you yeah. find what in different cultures. What cultures do you like? What cultures um, inspire you? The Indian culture is big inspiration for yeah. me personally. Yeah. And also kind of um, the Middle East as well. Yeah. So you've got Morocco, oh, okay, yeah. you've got kind of Egypt and all of the tilings and things that you find yeah. there. That I did look into. Um, I mean, they use a lot of royal blue. Whereas I've yeah. been going for the red and the yellow just to give it a bit more, a bit more oomph. And a, um, yeah, it's very warm. Oh, it's I very think heavy. we should get Tom Rollins it. wearing it <laughs> yeah. for his next segment. Well, I think we should get to raise some more money for Comic oh. Relief. Yeah. I think so we should try and get him to wear, wear it. This. Absolutely. <laughs> Who's to wear it? Tom Rollins. Tom Rollins. Oh, yes. That would be really funny. Um. <laughs> what is your best fashion tip? My best fashion tip? Um, it would just be to wear something that you find yourself comfortable in. I mean, there's no point wearing something that you're walking down the street thinking, oh, does, do people think I look good in this? Do, what do they think? Yeah. As long as you're comfortable in it, I mean, go for it. I mean, 
bright and bold colours. I'm yeah, I absolutely love them. I think everyone should be wearing really bright bold colours. Yeah. I mean, why not? Um, so, so what's yeah. your style? If you just want to stand up and talk us through your outfit today. Okay. Because yeah, I really like that. Skirt. I know you look gorgeous. I, do. I love very Thank bohemian. You. Um, yeah, a lot of a lot of people say that. I mean, the skirts. Um, it's a couple of seasons ago, I think. Yeah. Just teamed it together with this really nice big baggy knit. I mean, as you can see, I'm a bit of a fan of the knit anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, but yeah, it's just kind of I I do kind of go for the bohemian kind of yeah. style. Yeah. A lot of accessories. I love my accessories. Rings. Love my jewellery. Yeah. Yeah. yeah as you can kind of see. There, it is girl. floor length that skirt. I don't know if you can tell watching, yeah. but yeah. it is floor length and it is gorgeous. And you've also um, you're not wearing heels. You're wearing Converse with that lovely yeah. skirt you, as well. You're very tall. I, that's the thing. <laughs> I don't okay. need to wear heels. I can get away you're with wearing. Okay. Flats. So where what's would you like to go? Sorry, do you want to go? Uh, what's your favourite springtime look? For this uh, for this season, yeah, um, it would have to be the the sixties inspired look. You do have a lot of really bold prints coming through. You've got some stripes. You've got some checks coming through. Um, they're using really bold colours as well, which is which is great. Um, unfortunately for me, the bohemian look is kind of out of the window this year. Yeah, They've but you moved could bring on. it back in. Well, exactly. Yeah. You could be the one. You, you, <laughs> you do could it. Be you the wear one. it with. Pride. <laughs> well, it, it has been around for a while, um, yeah. and it is kind of it is about time we moved on and got a bit more sophisticated, which it is it is definitely doing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the sixties is really big this this um, the spring and summer with a lot of mm. really really bold colours, really kind of going out there. So that's pr probably my favourite look. I'm excited through. to get my summer wardrobe. <laughs> yeah. Where do you see yourself in like five years time? Five years time. Um, probably at a knitting machine, kind of coming up with crazy <laughs> little things like this. In a knitting machine or at a knitting machine? At a knitting machine. Well, <laughs> both, really. I mean, you could call myself a knitting machine with my broomstick handles. <laughs> um, but yeah, probably kind of cr yeah. Um, coming up with various knit samples and garments to do with um, to do with knitwear. How have you found the course at uh, Mum Met? Um, huh. <laughs> good fun. Ooh. Really, really good fun. It's a it's a huge amount of work. Yeah. Very I've stressful heard, at the yeah, time. I've heard. Um, so how long does really it take? Intense. How long does it take for you to create these garments? On um, average, well, on average, from start to finish, from concept to collection, yeah, um, it's yeah. I mean, that was about three days. This only took me about two days to come up with and to create. So yeah, um, I could see that, like in in like the northern quarter or something like a shop in the northern I quarter. Could, I think yeah. it's lovely. Um, are you doing anything for comic relief? For comic relief, not currently at the Job. moment. Um, Apart from this. Yeah, apart, apart from, from this, this. Very true. <laughs> and I will, I will be curling up on the sofa this evening to watch, watch the show. show. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, brilliant. It's such a good oh, show, isn't brilliant. it? Yeah. Thank so you for thanks coming for coming in, in Vicky. It's been lovely to meet you. Thank you for bringing all your stuff in. My pleasure. Thank you.